What's going on everyone? It's Adam from Spiritus Systems. And uh, we're coming at you today with another product video. This one goes out to all the carrots in the audience. If you don't know what a carrot is, and if you are a carrot or not, you should ask one of your British friends, mates, I should say, one of your British mates. They'll tell you if you're a carrot or not. But getting right into it, the spud pouch. We call it that because it looks like a potato. It's kind of a unique looking pouch, but this pouch actually has a, a pretty prestigious genesis to it. Anyone who's served uh, in a combat arms role knows that the soldier has to carry a ton of stuff. It's all, some of it's laying over here, magazines, grenades, water bottles, whatever. You have to carry a lot of it. And when I was serving, uh, I had a really rough time with weapon systems. The army was in like a weird transitionary period. We were switching from uh, certain sniper weapon systems to other sniper weapon systems. And we had a lot of magazines. We had a lot of different magazine types. Uh, we were carrying 556 mags for our M4s, 300 Win Mag uh, magazines for our AIs, you know, 110 mags, so 762 box magazines. We just had a lot of options uh, and we only had a couple of ways to carry them. And all of those ways we had to swap on and off our vests, uh, all using a Molly attachment system. So you can imagine one night you're gonna carry a uh, 7.62 magazine, but you have all 5.56 magazine pouches. To make things even better, the 7.62 mag pouches were too short to fit 5.56 magazines in them. So you couldn't even, you know, just kind of cheat the system that way. You really did have to kind of switch your magazine pouches out or like a lot of guys did, you just have both on your kit. Maybe you have 7.62 mags on your side and you have 5.56 mags on your chest, whatever the case may be with that. Uh, so we wanted to develop something that kind of solved that problem, something that would allow the end user to carry whatever they needed to without having to switch out their pouches all the time. So enter the spud pouch. So first I'm gonna talk about how the spud pouch is going to come to you when you buy it. So you're gonna get three parts. Uh, you're gonna get the actual pouch itself, which is this kind of, this really looks like a potato. Um, you're gonna get that guy uh, first. You're gonna get a flap. You get one flap with it. And you're also going to get a Velcro shot cord retainer. So we'll kind of talk about those three parts as we go through here. Uh, so the pouch by itself can be used as an open top mag carrier. Uh, and I'm gonna use some props over here as an example. So this is a 5.56 Duramag. Uh, it's, you know, a Stanag, very, very typical. A lot of guys in the military are gonna have that. Um, and if you just put it in there, just a single mag, it's loose and it's floppy and uh, it'll just come out. The mag will just fall out. It's not really good for that uh, in its current form. What we did was we embedded a piece of shot cord on the inside of the pouch so that you can apply tension um, to the magazine or whatever items in there to kind of hold it in place. And the reason why we embedded it inside is so that it wouldn't snag on anything. A lot of pouches on the market have a function similar to this. They have the ability to tighten up the mag, but I was always frustrated because you always had a couple of strips of shot cord sticking out and the less things that we can snag, uh, the better. So we embedded it on the inside, but essentially you uh, push this cord lock and you can tighten it up as much as you want. Uh, and you can take this guy and you can just tuck him into the, behind the pouch. Um, so there's nothing to snag on. But now this magazine actually has applied force on it. And it's not gonna hold, you know, if you're upside down hanging out of a helicopter, full magazine, probably gonna send this magazine into the earth. But, you know, for an upright guy, uh, this is, if you wanna, you know, have a quick mag or a fast mag on your body somewhere, you wanna have one of these that are open top like this, this will do the job. So it can fill that role. Let's take this guy out. but. Yeah, that's the open top kind of configuration. It allows you to put things in it without having any kind of retention over the top. Uh, when we start moving down the line, you can see here we have a uh, flap on this pouch. Um, so the flaps are pretty, uh, pretty simple to use. They're just Velcro, you can see, comes out really quick. Uh, the Velcro allows us to embed the flap as deep as we want. So if you put it in all the way, and then you take something like these MP7 mags, and you put them in there, the flap 
kind of, you know, doesn't meet all the way down. If you want the flap to go lower onto the pouch, you know, you would just adjust it. Just pull it out a little bit and just allow it to, to hang lower onto the, the Velcro field. Uh, this is a good time too, to talk about why the flap looks the way that it does. Uh, well, there it is. I mean, these are two very small magazines that you would probably not try to fit into a 5.56 magazine pouch generally. But because we can apply tension to the pouch itself using the shock cord on the side and we have a flap that uh, changes its shape when you apply force to it, we can actually really retain these magazines. They're just not going to be able to come out. Uh, and we achieve that by placing uh, geometric cuts into the fabric that is normally uh, non-elastic, has no elastic properties. You can't stretch it. It'll, it'll never stretch in its normal state. Once we apply these uh, cuts, we can actually get a little bit of stretch out of the material. So that really helps with things like this. It actually really helps too with, uh, you know, your 762 box mags. If you've ever had a magazine pouch with a flap that, uh, you know, leans to the side, I guess I could do like a grand thumb thing right now. If you've ever had a pouch, over a 762 mag that is at an angle, you know, like and subscribe to our channel or whatever. Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> because it is the biggest pain when your magazines keep popping out of the side of your mag pouch. This prevents that. These are gonna grab the corners of the magazine and just hold it in place no matter, uh, no matter what the mag is. It also acts as a, uh, it also acts as kind of a scrim for your body instead of just for your helmet. Right now, everybody's putting scrim on their helmet. They are acting like it's a new concept. Uh, it's been around forever, but this is probably the first time that we put scrim on a mag pouch. So, you know, if you can imagine a guy, a soldier has three of these on the front, a couple on the side, whatever. This is gonna actually break up the outline of that uh, magazine pouch, which is gonna help conceal that guy from the enemy. So that's the flap. Let's talk now about our Velcro tab retainer. So this guy, as you can see, you lift him up. He has uh, some shock cord on there and he also has a little pull tab. This makes it really easy to flap the pouch um, and just have a pull tab retainer that you can just move to the side, grab a magazine. This works really well when you're carrying two magazines in a pouch. You wanna take one out, but leave one nice and secure without having to adjust tension on the side. Uh, it also allows you to have access to items that are in the pouch. So if you can imagine you have a Motorola XTS in here, it's a radio and it has, you know, your antenna and it has a cable coming off. So you, you know, you really, it's kind of a pain to get underneath uh, a tab if it was hard mounted. Uh, well, you can just lift the Velcro and just pull it out and put it back in. So this works really well with Motorola's, by the way, if you are looking for a new radio pouch, um, this will work with your side connectors and, and things like that. This piece of shock cord can also be mounted just to the pouch itself. So if you're like, hey, I don't need the ability to open it. I don't want that. Uh, I'm doing, you know, uh, over the beach missions and this is just gonna come undone in the, in the water and it's, I'm gonna lose my magazines. You can hard mount this as well. You can just remove this piece and just put the shock cord directly through this, uh, this loop right here. So what's the point of it all, right? That's the that's kind of at the end of the day, what I like to talk about is why did we make this and why does it matter? Why should a guy uh, buy a spud pouch if he already has three magazine pouches that he stole from the arms room, you know, back in 2005? Uh, it's, it really is because it solves a problem. And if you have that problem, you're gonna immediately understand that you, that you would use this product or, or that you would want this product. Uh, when I can take, you know, a hundred round Surefire mag. I don't know if anybody actually uses these anymore, but you could take that and you could literally load that into the spud, you know, so that you can put that in one. You can take, you know, 7.62 uh, by 3.9 AK-47 magazines and you could load two of these guys in here, no problem. You could flap them over, good to go. You can take things like, uh, like a full size, you know, military smoke grenade, you can fit it in there. This will fit up to a thermobaric grenade. That's about the, if you know what a thermobaric is, then you know what I'm talking about. It's about as 
cylindrical as something can get inside this pouch. So smoke grenade fits in there. Uh, if you're law enforcement, the um, Def Tech Stinger will fit inside of the pouch. Uh, it's rubber, so you'll feel it kind of pulling, but when you pull this thing out, it'll be fine. Uh, flash bangs, you can squeeze two of this size. It's kind of comparable to a Def Tech. These are the Tag Pro, uh, like airsoft ones. So they're a little bit uh, different in shape, but it can fit two, it fits one better, but it can fit them. Um, 338, you know, AI mags or Remington mags, those will fit in there. So I know the snipers right now are hurting because of all the weapon system changes again, uh, but this will fit you know, one of your mags inside of it. So you can use this and use a pole cord over the top and you'll be fine. Fit those guys in there. 762 P mags, the new, uh, I mean, I think this is actually a, a Lancer mag, but it's, I think this is what they're gonna get on the contract for the um, next gen squad weapon system. So there's that, that'll work. The LaRue 762 mags, it really, it really doesn't matter. It's gonna fit all of them and you can fit them in different configurations. Two, one, you can put the tension on them so that you can have just, you know, one five, five, six, all the way up to a thermobaric grenade. And that's all just on your kit. The capability is just there. It's inherent to the, to the pouch. So the days of having to change all these pouches out all the time are kind of over. Now you can just put these on and you just know that you have the capability uh, to carry whatever you need. So that's it, all you carrots, that's it. This is the spud pouch. Um, yeah, just tell us what you're going to carry or what you had trouble carrying in the comment section. We love to hear your guys' feedback. Uh, we may not answer every single question or we may not read every single comment, but we do try to get in there and just answer anything that we can. So let us know. And we appreciate your time. Like always, thanks for watching, guys.